Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to use scanners aka user inputs. Alright well, let's get started. First we need to include a library. Without, without a library then the user inputs won't be po possible at all. Alright, I'll show you how to import a library. Make sure the following syntax is above class so it will be universal to your program like if you have multiple methods etc. Alright, the following syntax will be import space java dot util dot scanner. Alright, so basically we asked java that we wanted utility and that utility will be a scanner make sure you close it off the semicolon but if you're gonna make a huge Java program soon then instead of using scanner then use star star means using every single thing and utility of Java and once you start programming a huge uh, program then you will realize that you'll need more than one utility from Java to save to save time just type in star but if you're going to make a small program like I am right now, then type in scanner. Alright, now let's name our variable for the user input. Alright, we'll let Java know that we need the scanner library from here. And then now let's make a variable. It can be named as anything. You can name it as strawberries, chocolate, etc. But for right now, I'm going to name it as key. KB stands for keyboard and then just new syst new scanner system dot n alright so what we did here that uh, user will set their own value for the variable over here and the computer will know that it will be input since I uh, mentioned over here system dot n and it will be a new scanner meaning new value or yeah, something like that. Now let's add like another variable because I'm going to ask the user a question. So whatever the user type for here will be the value of the following variable that I'll be having that I'll be having over here. I'm going to be asking their age, and I'll be asking how many girlfriends they have. Just put GF. And the reason why I have two uh, kind of different yeah, two different data types is because you'll see why I'm going to use it. Alright, let's ask the user a question right now. Let's ask by using the system output. Alright, let's ask how old they are. How old are you? And then, now you use this variable over here and then put over here age equals kb which uh, the user will set a value for age and make sure you have your dot next and since this is a byte data type we type in byte that's why I have two different data types over here because I'll be showing you like you'll be typing differently depending on your data types make sure you close it off the open close parentheses and with the semicolon All right. Let's ask the uh, ask the user another question. Let's ask how many girlfriends they have by using system output again. All right. You do the same thing for here, and you put a GF over here. GF equals keyboard. Like this, will, uh, the user will set their own value for this variable. Then next, this time it will be int. All right. So now let's let the user know that we got their inputs correctly by the following syntax over here. We do we'll be using system print line. Okay, make sure you have your system dot out dot print line. You are. Let's do age. Age. 
Oh yeah, make sure you have your addition sign so you can combine your sentence and quotations and with the variable so it'll look like it's part of your sentence over here. And, yeah, and you'll see in our output or once we run this program, your age years old you have if you uh run out of room over here then you can simply press enter and type in addition sign and it'll still work like that type in gf for the variable of gf and then yeah quotes girlfriends Friends. All right, we're done with this one. All right, now let's save this and compile this. That'll be Java C tutorial. That's the name of our program. Dot Java. All right, no errors. That's good. All right, now let's run this. All right, I'm 17. I have 1,000 girlfriends. Alright. See, it output it correctly. Now let's use characters. And characters is... No, not characters. First, we'll use string. And string is less complex than character. And let's do string first. Alright, instead of using girlfriends, let's use string name. And for string, you need an extra scanner variable because without second one for string, then it will ask you a first question for this right here. But then once you answer that and you have a string question next, then it will automatically skip that and it will output and with your blank output for the second question. And that will look strange. So let's add another uh, scanner variable for a string. Equals. Okay. Instead of this question over here, let's ask what's your name? Alright, change of uh variable. Make it a string. A second scanner variable over here. Instead of next string, there's no such thing as next string. Instead, it'll be next line. Cause yeah, there's no such thing as next string. Uh, you are as name is as name. Okay. All right, so let's output now since we're done with this part right here. And let me take that P off. All right, now let's save that and compile it. Okay, no errors. Okay, I'm 17. My name is John. Alright, it works perfectly fine. Let me delete this uh, syntax over here so you can see what I'm talking about. Save that. Now let's compile that. Got an error there. Uh, why do I have... Oh yeah. Okay. I am seven. Yeah. Uh, make sure, like, once you delete that, make sure your uh variable is the same thing as that. Since I just deleted that, and that's why I got an error of KB one because I deleted that variable just now, and that's why I got that error. Just to let your people know. And you see, it skipped the second question, and. We'll have a blank input for the second answer. So yes, always include a second scanner for a string. If you have another scanner for byte and etc. Kb1 equals use scanner system dot end. 
Okay. Make sure that's one. All right, now we want a character. If you only want uh one letter from your name or something like that, then I'll show you how. Since there is no such thing as next char, we have to use string still, like the next line. We have to use string still. In order to get the first character of your name or something that you only want a character, like one character from your answers, I'll show you how for your following syntax. Alright, you name a new variable, char. And you name it anything as you want, but right now I'll name it C, so I can save time of thinking of names. All right, so now we type in the string, like the variable string, into here, and then dot char at at zero, and then semicolon. Computer reads numbers weird. Us humans count numbers differently from computers. All right, let's say I type in John again. Zero will be the letter J, and basically zero is like one. And then O is one, but we count it as two. So that's how computer counts. And zero is basically the first one of your answer or input or whatever you did. If you only want the character of your string or, s yeah over your character from your scanner yeah all right so make sure you change here because you only want the character now not the name because the name string will still work but you only want the character so just type in c or whatever your name is your variable for this right here now let's save that and let's compile it okay i got name okay i got an error there for some reason Um, char c name dot char at. Alright, let me pause this video real quick so I can see and rectify mistakes and tell you how. Oh, uh, yeah, I found an error. I had this on cap like this and I got an error. So, just use lowercase c and remember, Java has uh, case sensitive uh, syntax, so. Watch out or else you get an error like I did. Alright, save that. Alright, compile that. Alright, no errors. And you see? Yeah, Java is case, uh, case sensitive. So watch out. Yeah, I'm 17. And my name is John. And it should output only my letter, the first letter of my name. Since this is zero one two three but us humans count like this one two three four and that's not right the correct way is zero one two three all right just enter and as you can see I only output the first letter of my name all right well this concludes my tutorial over scanner and thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next tutorial and subscribe